Welcome back guys. This is a quick unplanned video about salt mine. Uh, the reason why this is unplanned is because I had a request come in from LinkedIn uh, asking about how to share values from one minion to another, specifically IP addresses. So um, originally I thought, you know, just go ahead and create a custom grain so it can go ahead and do a dynamic host lookup on the host name and then it'll, you know, translate that to an IP. However, uh, that's not apparently feasible on this person's uh, infrastructure. So um, I can't, I looked up other ways and one of them was salt mine and I used salt mine like way, way back in the day um, and I had forgotten about it. So now I'm sort of, I sort of refreshed a little bit on salt mine and I just want to go ahead and put this quick video out. So for obviously for the person who contacted me via LinkedIn, as well as for anybody else that needs um that needs uh, assistance with the same sort of situation where they want to pass values for something for one from one particular um, uh, minion to another, whether it be a green value or a, a uh, method call or so on, whatever it is, they, they can go ahead and pass it. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm on my salt master here. I'm not going to do too much on my salt master to, uh, to get the mines. I need to be able to mine the items from the minion. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm, I've got uh, two minions up, uh, one for Web01, one for Web02. On Web01, uh, we'll do this on Web01 to test it out, and then we'll replicate it on Web02. Um, there's a few ways to do this, but I'm going to show you like the simpler way. Well, actually, they're both pretty simple. One uses pillar, one doesn't use one doesn't use pillar. The pillar one is a more more versatile one where you can just go ahead and and uh, upload from your repo and and. Uh, go ahead and control it from your from your Git configuration management. Whereas if you use the um, if you use the salt uh, salt config the minion configuration, it's not as versatile because you're likely not going to be uploading that particular configuration file very often. So it, it it gets more difficult to upload that because update that because you're not going to be controlling it via a uh, a uh, Git configuration management or Git you know. Uh, source management. So, but I'm going to show you that way first just to get it out the door and then later on in another video I'll show you through the pillar where you can go ahead and do the same exact thing. So, uh, let's go ahead and create a file in the um, in the minion configuration to go ahead and and add the mine. So, so sudo vi etc salt uh, minion.d if I can spell minion right and I'll name this mine.conf. Okay, so now that I've got this file, there's already some examples here on Salt Mines webpage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this particular example. I know this is a this is a pillar example, but you can still use it. They're interchangeable between pillars and the configuration file. Uh, let me explain this a little bit. Both in the pillar and in the configuration file, you have to have a key name mine functions. That is a must. Uh, if you don't have a key name mine functions, then it's not going to work. Um, the what's the key that you pass after the uh, after the mine functions, uh, it can be sort of anything that can be called upon salt. It can be a grains, it can be uh, or a um, a method or the function method that how you call it. For example, test.ping. You can call test.ping uh, if you want to mine the result of test.ping. Uh, this one here is network.ip address. So we can actually use this in network.ip address, and the argument is eth zero. So if I were to pass, if I were to call this from the salt master, I could do sudo salt target everything uh, like that. And that should give me the internal IP address of the three machines that I have. However, I want to be able to mine this. Mining meaning that um, it's going to get stored on every minion. So like the value of, you know, the web01 IP address is also going to be available to Web02 for Web02 to use. So, for example, if you have like a file, or yeah, if you have a file on Web02 that requires the IP address of Web01, but you don't want to go ahead and statically set it there, you can use Mine to get that. And you know, Mine would, um, in my example, it's going to call this particular uh, method, and when it calls this method, it, it returns the actual value rather than statically setting, uh, setting it. And when you statically set it, it, it gets very cumbersome because you sort of don't know what your IP address might change to. So with that said, let's go ahead and just use this particular method. I'm just going to go copy and paste this. Now, as I said, you need to have mine functions as a key. And then it should work. Okay, so be sure your spacing is correct. Um, this, 
regardless whether it's a pillar or not, I use two spaces, two or four spaces is fine. Uh, but if it's a configuration file, I like to stick with two spaces. Uh, once you get that squared away, you would need to go ahead and kill the minion and restart it. So let's kill the minion. I can't spell minion at all. And then let's go ahead and restart it. Um, I don't remember where I have it. It's in user local bin, okay. You're probably wondering why didn't I just type in salt minion is because whenever I use sudo, I have to type in the full path because the root account doesn't have the path variable set correctly. So that got ahead and um, it set the, all right, so our, our mine should be running now, so I should be able to do a mine.get here. So sudo salt, um, let's go ahead and call it from, uh, from every host, doesn't matter, mine.get. And we wanna get the mine of, we can say every host, it doesn't matter, it's only gonna return web01. And we wanna get network.ip address, the mine uh, of, the mine return of the network IP address. So like so, and there it is. See, Web Web02 sees Web01's mind IP as this. Web01 sees Web01's mind IP as this, and the salt master minion sees the mind IP of Web01 as the same thing. And that's, um, that's pretty much it. So I don't think we can uh, narrow that any further. We can try setting it to FE0, but it's not gonna return anything. So you wanna be careful with that sometimes. Um, once you go ahead and uh, narrow it down e even further, so like let's if I were to say uh, we could say web01, we want to only get web01. It's still gonna give me, give me the same exact result because it's gonna call all three minions to get the mind uh, IP of web01. So I get the same thing. So I can go to so salt target web02. Give me the mind IP of Web01, and then that will go ahead and do exactly just that. So that sort of uh, you can sort of share your IPs or whatever values you want to get um, from the mine uh, between one minion of another that way. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that this is a static, is sort of pseudo static. Uh, you need to set a mine interval, and the way you would do that is again in the configuration file. Now this has to be in the configuration file. You cannot set the mine interval in a pillar. It doesn't quite work like that, unfortunately. So if you were to set the mine interval here, we can go to sudo vi, yep, there it is. And we can set mine interval 60, and we have to kill the minion, restart it again, but that would that would remind that same value uh, every 60 minutes every 60 minutes and then the master would pick it up and all the other minions would pick it up and be shared and updated equally all right so i hope that uh answers some of your qu if, if you have any questions i hope to uh, answer them soon um if you do uh have actually if you do have any questions go ahead and leave a comment and i tr try to get them i try to get back to you as soon as possible um I don't always have the answers. Sometimes I do have to look it up and I'm not always correct, but you know, I try what I can. So on the next video, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use the mind value in a state file. Um, that way you can go in more into advanced minds and you can use it in a state file and you know, uh, call from a minion or web02, get the IP of web01 and put it in some file wherever you need it. Uh, so I hope to see you guys then. After that, we're gonna get back into testing. Uh, we're gonna get back into test infra and uh, inspect and so on. And then after that, we're gonna be setting up our, um, our the elk stack uh, configuration with these two or three instances. All right, so I hope to see you guys soon, bye.